we're back home to unbox $15,000 worth of video games. But I did get some gems in here. Ooh, there's another sealed one. So the sealed stack is growing to deal with. Yes! Ooh, boy. Welcome to garage sale season, baby. I think you guys can see it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, this one. Made me a good deal on this one. Days after the right price. Let's go. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Chase After The Right Price. I'm Chase. I'm After The Right Price. And we got a bunch of boxes. Let's go bring them downstairs. All right, we're gonna get right into it. There's a lot of stuff to unbox, a lot of amazing items, and I'm gonna go as quickly as possibly can. Um, so we don't know if stuff is bubble wrapped or whatever, and it looks like, okay, maybe this is just packaging, so that's perfect. Oh. All right, so this was the Halo 5 collector's edition. Oh, they have edition. everything labeled. Yes. Beautiful. Okay, and it does have the lot number on it. Um, Halo 5. That's awesome. That is so clean. What is this place? Uh, I was just looking at this one, lot number 543. I think I paid $22. That was definitely one of the really solid buys, because obviously we can just get a Halo 5 game, put it in there. I think we already have one, too. Yeah, we probably do. And then it should come with like the statue and everything else. Uh, and I averaged it out based on the amount of lots that I got and the shipping cost. It was $32 per lot. So you can add $32 to the price of each item. And I'll, I will say the price that I paid after buyer's premium on everything. So that is a great buy there. Quick first box. Gonna have a lot These of are all the boxes, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Let's get right into box two. This one's a lot heavier, so I'm gonna assume this one has some some games. I didn't buy any of the guidebooks because I knew they would just be like crazy heavy. There was definitely stuff in this uh, auction that I did not win, like amazing Dreamcast games, Saturn games, that I added up the value and those ones seem to go for even above like individual retail. So I was very, very out on that stuff. But I did get some gems in here. Ooh. Looks like a lot Already of these are some, some of the sealed, sealed ones. On yes. Top. So this is probably a fairly big one just because it is black label early Grand Theft Auto. And that is beautiful, beautiful condition. Very excited about this one. So this is lot number 636 here. I don't love that that's on the sealed game, but... Mm -hmm. Oh, it comes off nice. nice. Not bad. Okay, uh, Oddworld, Stranger's Wrath, sealed. Got Jade Empire sealed. That one's got a little bit of a tear in the seal, but not too bad. And obviously there was a pretty big question because I don't think this auction house realized what they had, and I actually know they didn't based on my conversation with the guy because they almost didn't pick up this stuff to consign, which would have been absurd. Um, but the pictures weren't that good and they weren't detailed. They weren't, a lot of times you could just see the spines or you could see like, you had to look really close to see if they were sealed. And on some of the auctions, I got a pretty good deal because I don't think people realized, but that is a huge game. Aliens vs Predator Extinction, factory sealed. Still got that glorious Toys R Us sticker on it. That's a really, really good start in this, in this box here. And then let's not forget Medal of Honor. And obviously anything sealed older is something that could be could be really good. <laughs> I mean, let's just, all right. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I got a lot of games, a lot of games. So a lot of the 360 lots. And, two or three deep. <laughs> yeah, that's, there's a ton in here. A lot of the 360 lots went for really cheap um, on a per game basis. So I was pretty happy to get those because they're gonna be quick sellers, easy sellers. And then this is a good PS2 lot. So you got Klonoa 2 right there. Gosh. Oh, it's so clean. The condition is not disappointing. And that was that was kind of the thing with this whole collection, as you could tell. Holy cow, these are just... I mean, if you're looking for mint condition games, oh my gosh, they're like... 
It's like, like, it's, <laughs> it's like they just came out of the wrap and that feeling of just the fresh. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, it's beautiful. Let's have a counter every time we say minty or minty fresh. Or in insane. I yes. <laughs> <laughs> you want a fun drinking game? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I say those words quite a lot. Um, so yeah, I mean, I don't even know. We, we probably won't be able to break it down how much we paid just know for everything. 15,000 mm -hmm. plus shipping. Well, and even all the lots themselves, they had just stacked everything together. When we were on the phone with him, he had said, we just kind of grouped like games. Random. We didn't take anything. Yeah, like they went we put system. 360 games here, PS2 games here, all this yep. and that. Yeah, so. like they, they really did not know how to group things. Um, so let's just get a pan over of these and then I'll unbox them. We're gonna keep this as quick as possible for you guys. Um, Let's see if there's anything super notable in here. There's definitely some 10, 20, 30 dollar games in here. Um, yeah, just just a lot of that, honestly. Some interesting Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Like every single one. <laughs> uh, yep. This was a. I remember getting this Mortal Kombat lot, and I feel like mm -hmm. something in there might be sealed. Or we um, thought it was. Or we thought it was, but I guess we'll see. There could um, be more underneath Yeah, as well. there definitely could be more. So yeah, definitely a nice stack of games here. I'm going to get these out, and you guys won't have to see that slow process. All right, so some bad news. When we bought all these games, they were kind of shown like this. They might have noted it in the lot. However, every single one is completely empty. They are display cases. Display only. There's nothing in them. They might still have some value. Let us know if they do. Otherwise, we're kind of anticipating a loss on this one. Um, what did uh? I, I can't even find that that lot. So we're not really sure what lot these were a part of. Can't find them. They could have just been extras in one of the accessories bundles. So we'll set those to the side for now. Yeah, we're gonna look into that. Are there any others though that are? It feels like everything else that was is, it. is full. Yeah, let's just like. Oh, that's sealed. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> Um, so one of the things to look for in sealed games, when they're stacked on the spines, you just got to look at the edges and you got to look close, but you can see that little bit of shrink wrap and that's kind of how we did it. And then I, I did find how much I paid on this, this Xbox lot. I paid 452 all in and the big ones obviously being aliens and grand theft auto. I feel pretty good about that, especially with the potential for grading and whatnot. So we'll have to look into those, but I'm excited for that. Getting those sealed games. I don't know if there's anything else sealed in here, but we'll get them all stacked up. Another sealed game. This one's a little I didn't actually really anticipate having any of those ones being sealed. So here's all the 360 games. Quite a few. This guy does have the little sticker, or not sticker. It's like a, a patch, patch or something, thing. yeah. So, fully, fully complete. All right, here's the next row. This one is pretty interesting. So I'm seeing some really nice stuff over here, and I think some of it might be sealed. I'm gonna take some stuff out over here to give us some room to grab those. All right, so I believe this original Xbox lot was one of the better ones because Maybe Ooh, some sealed stuff. Ooh, okay. Baby. Marvel Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is a pretty huge one. There you go. It's just so That's good weird. to see because I mean I didn't know if stuff was gonna come with manuals. I, I I really didn't know hardly anything. And then you got breakdown. Gosh, that is mint, like with the hang tab on the back still attached. That's wow. wild. And then the suffering. Also, like these are gonna grade really nice. So I think that's definitely gonna help. Like if we just look at one of these games, like there is not even as much as like the little, like micro dents you just get from like accidentally pushing into the game. Yeah. Like it is so clean. Oh man, yeah, they're all just incredible. I mean, some of them are lower end games and we might just use the cases as replacements for higher end games and then trade in, trade them in, but. Even still, the prices I got these bolt games were really, really good. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. And it's just nice to see games in this good of condition. <laughs> it is. It's refreshing. There's another sealed one. So the sealed stack is growing. That's, that is that's what fun. had me the most excited. 
but almost a match level of, of excitement in some of these boxes. There's a, another row down here, by the way. <laughs> I thought this was it. <laughs> Apparently not. But there's um, complete N64 games. I got a ton of those. And they look to be so amazingly beautiful. Um, so I'm very excited for those, especially seeing the condition of these. And there was also some SNES ones and other stuff, so... Stick around for those. Stick around. There's there's more to come. This is a pretty good one, Bloody Roar Extreme. Let's see about that one. Boom. I mean, that's like, I don't even know what that is, if that's original. Yeah, that looks to be maybe original. And then the manual's behind it. So there's... The condition is fabulous. All right, let's get a quick pan of the rest of the stuff in here. And we will get, get that out of the way and go to the next row. Dude, they have Afro Samurai. <laughs> that doesn't really excite me. <laughs> okay, the last row of games in this box has been revealed. I already see a pretty nice one, Conquer Live and Reloaded. Let's check that out. Perfect. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check the disc, see if these were ever even played. I mean... Oh my goodness. It's, it's like it was never taken out. Like that is just... It's a mirror. It's perfect. All right. Crimson Skies appears to be sealed. Yep, I guess that's original. It's kind of a crappy seal, but it, it is it is original. That's not too exciting. Pretty low low dollar game, but hey, sealed nonetheless. Uh, this one, Chronicles of Riddick. Vin Diesel. Yes. What a man. What a man. What a man. What a man. Ooh. He, he doesn't sing that song. Ooh, baby. Trade now, play and trade. Is that yes? That is. That is original seal. That's a big one. Very exciting. Now, how do stickers affect grading, if at all? They, they do affect it. And for, for WADA and BGA, you can request a light cleaning, and light cleaning will take care of that. Light cleaning removes stickers. So I often do that and let them do it, because they're good at it. There's another sealed one. Nothing too huge. Project Snowblind. All right. All right here. This one's decent. Beat down. Fists of Vengeance. <laughs> I didn't realize how much sealed stuff it actually was. I don't think that we... Uh, yeah, like a lot of this stuff, we were like, maybe that's sealed, but a lot of it we just couldn't tell. Yeah. Like, the pictures were super glary, and that's a no fault to their own. I mean, they just had so much stuff to deal with. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Let's go! So there's a nice surprise. All we saw was that end. And yes, they are sealed on the inside. And I wondered this. Have we even showed the one from the garage sale that ended up being sealed? No, we recorded it and never put it in a video. Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. Well, th this is way too similar to not point out. Where is the bin? I think I, I moved it over here, actually. <laughs> no. <laughs> the bin? Over here, over here. So stay tuned for more videos because... A lot of stuff in this bin is going to get sent off for grading, plus a lot of stuff that we're unboxing. But somewhere buried in here, right here, this one we got at the garage sale. The guy wanted $2 a game. So he wanted $2 for this. I ended up paying him more, and we ended up getting more from him. Some of you might remember that video. But this is the GTA Stories double pack, which is way more uncommon, and both games inside were sealed. So basically pay, I don't know, five dollars for that and I remember I was sitting down and Chase was like, oh my gosh, get I did, over here. <laughs> I didn't realize it at the time. I was like, what? All, all I hear is like, are these sealed? <laughs> and yeah. I run over. <laughs> and boy they were, and obviously the condition is very, very good. And I think you might be able to still grade this and they'll just say like it comes from the, the double pack. So that is very exciting. I guess the question will be to grade it together separate like with or without this box but either way that is a very nice surprise and the kind of surprise i was hoping would be within this lot okay so those aren't sealed but that's i would have rather had the halos or the whatever that was gta's big big name titles dead or alive would be okay but not as good as gta all right nope all right just do a pan of the last games there and we will move on and then we did find two more sealed games within that last box, and that one, Time Splitter's Future Perfect, is pretty decent. 
Let's go. That was a good box. I'm gonna guess this one has Guitar Hero in it based on the size of the box. Speaking of Guitar Hero, will the accessories list be out by now? Ooh. So yeah, if um, you haven't checked out Patreon, be sure to check it out. We have the sports game list, games worth $100 plus in alphabetical order now. And hopefully the accessories list is out by now, which will include Guitar Hero and the best way to sell Guitar Heroes. Which ones have dongles, which ones don't, which games to bundle them with. Honestly, the value there will be huge. If you don't have any Guitar Hero knowledge, definitely check that out. Link in the description. Yeah, they added little... some some things, and they got one on the guitar, but really, really nice shape. So this is Guitar Hero 1 for PS2, complete in the box, very good condition. I looked up the price that I paid for it. There was these three Guitar Heroes, and then um, also the Rocksmith for like PS4 or something. Paid 180 bucks, and my max bid was like 400 because these sell really, really well on Amazon, FBA. Um, like... This right here, I would anticipate getting all of the money back after fees. So, I love doing Guitar Hero stuff, and this was definitely a good buy. We're not going to bore you with unboxing every one of these, but three Guitar Heroes and the Rocksmith, 180 bucks. Let's move on. All right, what is this, box number five? Uh, one, two, three, four. Four. Oh, only four. Box number four. <laughs> we have all these. And those are all the same size and big, so I'm really curious at what is in this small box. I don't know if they strategically packed valuable things or... I, I wonder if it's some of the sealed accessories, maybe? Could be, could be. Those are some odd shapes that I wouldn't necessarily want to stack with games. Let's see. Oh boy. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Some random accessories. There you go. I think I got this for super cheap and it is a brand new Mortal Kombat plug and play. It is indeed brand new. All right. Good old, uh, just a standard component switcher. So this was one of those random accessories bundles that went for really cheap. I didn't really know what this was, but that is like a metal box for, uh, maybe it was a collector's edition for PS2 era. But there you go, probably paid like 30 bucks for all of this stuff and pretty happy with that one. 35. Oh. That's... Well, they were big in the Gamer gloves, heck yes. <laughs> wow. You wanna wear these? Like, <laughs> in public. I'm going to wear them in, in my softball game tonight. <laughs> Can't go wrong with a little, almost appears to be homemade Mortal Kombat sterling silver ring buried in there. Maybe there's some gold. <laughs> I know, finding all these little pins and stuff. Box number five. E. Box number five coming at you. Six. It's box number six. Looks like we got a one of the accessories bundles. This is a something action replay. So, I like all this is kind of that. Yeah, yeah I like that niche. Love some Game Shark and action replay stuff. Those are definitely going to be on the accessories list um, because almost everything action replay of Game Shark is worth money. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so with like um, link cables here. This is like GBA. They all look first party. Super adapter. I don't even know what that might be um we'll, we'll get go through this stuff and if there's anything notable we'll let you guys know all right and then underneath those accessories which there wasn't too much in there might be something that we don't know about but i got them for cheap this i did not get for as cheap it's the steel battalion for original xbox <laughs> steel battalion complete in box I think I paid like 200 something for this. It's a little bit on the higher end, but it looked to be in really, really nice condition. And these are incredibly rare. Oh yeah. Right. 
So, I mean, it's, it's got like the folder. Everything looks untouched. Let's see how the game looks. Yes, good stuff. And then if you take this out, everything is still wrapped. Wow. So I'm gonna leave that like that, but I feel like there's very, very few sales on these and there's very few options for people to buy. So somebody that's looking for this is gonna pay a premium. That's another one of my words <laughs> um, for something in this condition. So I was willing to pay up on that one and I feel pretty good now that I have it in person. Box number six, just took a peek. This is an exciting one. Oh boy. You know, I was hoping they'd do more bubble wrap on these ones, but hopefully the condition stayed okay. Let's just check them out. So this one on top, I, I'm hoping wasn't in perfect condition to start. I think it might've got a little bit of damage because it looks like it literally just got that through the shipping process. But that looks to be the only casualty and it's Bass Hunter 64, it's not the biggest title. But wow, look at these, <laughs> they're just so good. Okay. I mean, that one might've got a little bit of indenting too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks packaging. like this one might've been pushed down just a tiny bit. Yeah. Overall, not, not too bad, not too bad. All right. Wow. So no mercy complete in the box. Just absolutely beautiful. I mean, Sarge's Heroes. There's a big one, Earthworm Gym 3. A little bit of wear on the top of that one. Uh, Buck Bumble. That one is just nearly perfect. Any gradable candidates yet? I would say maybe. Um, you can grade used games, but I would only grade high-end, really nice ones. Mortal Kombat 4, pretty nice there. Ooh, here's Mortal Kombat Trilogy. I think it's safe to say after this purchase, we have every Mortal Kombat ever <laughs> yes. in existence, All including of every Kombat's. accessory <laughs> that has ever been so made. So many. Quake. Here's a big one, F0X. That one's pretty nice. <laughs> I mean, the standard of nice in this collection is pretty high, so we definitely achieved nice on most things. <laughs> Knife Edge, perfect dark. Well, just found a gradable candidate there. This thing is, oh my goodness, like absolutely pristine. That's gotta be one of the cleanest N64 boxes I've ever seen. That will be gradable. Sealed. Another butte. Again, nearly mint. Gotta love that one. That might be gradable as well. Well, we've got the rest of them unboxed. So there's the rest of the N64 games. Beautiful condition. A lot of times when I get something like this, people will reach out asking if I want to sell it. And yes, on most of it I do, but keep in mind, I paid way up on this stuff because of the condition. So I'm going to need to get a lot for it. But if it's something that you're looking for, you probably won't find many in this type of beautiful condition. And I believe everything has cartridges that look the same, manuals that look the same as the boxes. So that's amazing. And then we got these accessories here. Nice that this little zapper was new. Stuff like that sells well on Amazon. Just send it off in new condition. Um, this Sega Genesis is gonna be one of the cleanest ones that I've ever seen. And that was a very, very good box. Let's move on to the next one. Box number seven. Let's rip it open. Wow. Wow. Looks like a lot of controllers. So this one caught my eye because it's the PS1 concave controller. You can see the joysticks go in and it's in the original box. So I just thought that was a very rare find and very excited about that one. I feel like I got this one in addition to this one for like 50 bucks for the lot. This guy inside, they had pictures. It's like beautiful, beautiful, un unused condition basically. So that was a great buy. 
And then there was a bunch of these Mortal Kombat Fatality controllers. We got these on average for about 20 bucks a piece. And there's five of them right here. I don't know if these are new or just like new, but either way, they're in amazing condition. Well, there you go. There's what I call Amazon gold. We sell like crazy for us on Amazon. Here's a nice one. Ugh. There's a good old Dead or Alive um, Xbox 360 fight pad. Oh yeah, this Dreamcast thing. This lot went for like 10 bucks and included the Dreamcast light gun, which is like 30 or 40 by itself. So that was a good buy because it came with other stuff too. We got the good old Gears of War 3 Xbox 360. Another Nerf thing. This one appears to be used. <laughs> and then the Game Gear case with the original box. Box number eight. Number eight. Oh, baby. And 64. Yay. <laughs> You're in your element. <laughs> Some more N64 glory. Killer Instinct Gold. Definitely a big one right on top. It appears to be in great condition. Mortal Kombat Sub-Zero. Of course they have the Mortal Kombat. Donkey Kong 64 is a big one. I wonder if the expansion pack is in there. Okay, no expansion pack, but still. Very nice condition, Donkey Kong 64. And there's a bunch more, so. We'll kind of start pulling these out, get them spread out, and you guys can check them out here in a second. Okay, so we got all the N64 games from that box spread out, and there's some nice ones. You've got Diddy Kong Racing, Banjo-Tooie, uh, Armories. This one's got a really cool, like, box with indented designs on it. Uh, there's Cruisin' World and Exotica, Doom 64, another Cruisin', uh, Dr. Mario 64, Pokemon Puzzle League, and then you've seen these ones. So that was a beautiful lot of N64 games, and this box is still packed with more stuff, including something that I'm wondering if anybody knows what exactly they are or how they were used. So Mortal Kombat 3, it looks like uh, you get Liu Kang and Kano. Um, cartridge 5 for SNES by Innovation. So it's like an expansion cartridge for more characters, but how is it used? What's the original thing you put it into to put it into the system? If you know, let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to know on that, because we've got some for like Genesis 2 in there. So that's interesting. And then this, did not know I was getting this, but <laughs> Xbox Live 12 month gold membership day one card. So that's pretty cool. I don't know if it's been used, but either way, nice little collectible item. This guy, Tekken Hybrid, not sealed fully on the outside, but the game is sealed on the inside. And then I see the, uh, the sealed GameCube games in there, so. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. Uh, oh, that was, that oh was baby. About. Is that a Spyro? All right, so let's get into the GameCube stuff. So these, this was the lot that I had to win no matter what it went for. We got Geist, Resident Evil Zero, and it is the black label, which I love. The condition is very, very good. I don't see any flaws right off the get-go. Somebody got a good deal on this Mario Golf for $8 back in the day. Too bad that's player's choice, but still a great title, especially right now with the new one that just came out a little bit ago. Um, that does not look original. I'm, I'm not sure, but not a good feeling. Honestly, the Spyro was one of the lower end ones of the bunch, which is surprising, But so that's okay. Yeah, that is very... I don't think it's, it's original. It's a little torn, too. Yeah. It's like a Kmart resale. And then SSX on tour. That one is definitely original. And beautiful Joe. So beautiful seals on those ones. And then also included in that lot, we had this Resident Evil 4, the GameStop Special Edition. So it's got all the pieces and parts with that. So that's... That's a pretty cool Resident Evil piece for GameCube. This one, for example, I don't think I've ever seen. The Batman big box. I didn't even know that that was a thing. So it's got the game and then like a whatever's in here. <laughs> and it doesn't really look like it had whatever else is supposed to be in there. So that's interesting. And then we've got 
Odama. That looks sealed. I think it is. That is a surprise. So I'm pretty sure, and I don't think it really opens from the bottom, though it does have a little bit of wear on the bottom. So we'll have to look into that one further, but could be sealed, which would be cool. I don't think that's like huge, but definitely cool. This one would have been massive if it was sealed, like massive, massive. It's not, I didn't think it was. Let's see what it is on the inside. So not sealed on the inside either. But man, if we had a Zelda, that would have been huge. It is very, very minty. Has all the paperwork and it's got all of the extras in there as well. So that's a pretty awesome, probably a collection piece there. It's gonna be hard not to keep a lot of this stuff. I at least gotta make my money back. <laughs> <laughs> we got some more nice stuff. N64 Glory, some SNES Glory. Let's see how the SNES stuff looks. So Monopoly, Mortal Kombat 3, definitely very, very clean. And we did spread out some stuff over here too. You can pan over as I'm grabbing more, Skylar. So these control pads got a good deal on those. Light gun for Saturn. Just some kind of some random stuff that went for really cheap that I had to pick up. Here's another one of those uh, control pads. Three of those. Okay, big ones I'm noticing right off the bat. Pokemon Stadium. Wow. Is it sealed? No. It's, it's got, got a sticker seal. It's got on this side, but not this side. Oh. So close. <laughs> so that would have been like, we won <laughs> on, this, on this day. Um, but yeah, opened on that side. Not on that side, but that is, I mean, that gradable. Unfortunately, it, you know, the box size, you can't get graded with WADA because it'd be custom with uh, VGA. Come on, WADA. All right, sealed on this side. Not sealed on that side. Hey, you, Pikachu. Again, fantastic condition on that one. And there's a bunch of stuff in here. We're going to pull these out and pan over everything at one time in just a second. All right, we got everything spread out, and that was quite the box highlighted by this guy here, Mystical Ninja, starring Goemon. Perfect condition. That guy's going to go in our gradable bin. This one was a bummer because I didn't realize there was any sealed games in this lot, but it's got a cracked case, the Mortal Kombat trilogy. It is greatest hit, so it's not that exciting, but there's like black labels of every Mortal Kombat game on PS1, and that went for pretty cheap, so that was awesome. There's three Mortal Kombat Armageddon Premium Editions sealed, steel books, and those have a different uh, artwork than... Are they all different? Yeah, they're all different. It looks like this Whoa. one was the main one if he opened that up, maybe. Yeah. So I wonder if these were exclusive to like a certain... Yeah, we'll have to look something. into if any of the art on them is more rare than one of the others. But we've got all four versions. Three are sealed, one is not. So that's super cool. Uh, let us know if you know anything about that in the comments down below. If any are more rare, if they're all just kind of the same. Lots of Mortal Kombat questions. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we don't know. Um, Duke Nukem 64, a pretty big one. And it is... Immaculate. You got Beetle Adventure Racing, which is pretty good. Um, Mortal Kombat 3 down there for SNES. There's a Clay Fighter, unfortunately not Sculptor's Cut. Uh, more Mortal Kombat's Fatal Fury 2. There's an, even a Jaguar game, which I believe I want a big lot of Jaguar games, so we might be seeing more of those. And then we even got the ones over here. Uh, let's see, South Park, Robotron. Ooh, this one's pretty good. Rocket, Robot on Wheels. Pretty rare to find the box for. Not the best condition compared to the others. Expansion pack in the box, kind of funny there. And then let's see if there's anything notable. Nothing too notable here. Nightmare Creatures is pretty cool. So yeah, all of those, and we still got three boxes left. Let's keep going. Present day chase here. So we were looking at the editing of this video and the full length would have been 50 minutes. So we decided to cut it off here because there's three more amazing boxes that we're going to save for the next video. So be sure to subscribe, hit the bell, stay tuned for that one. So the next video is going to include those three boxes, the last of which is probably the best box of the entire collection purchase. And then we're also going to include a bunch of processing through Amazon and eBay and just kind of ways that we're going through everything in the next video. So stay tuned for that one. 
Thank you for watching this one. If you made it this far, please hit the like button. Hit that like button for Skylar, who's editing all these videos and killing it and making them entertaining throughout. Um, and I appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you guys next time. Next time. Three boxes left. Mario 64. I don't think I've seen this type of box. No wonder this went up to my bid. I tentatively set aside for grading. I know, look at all of this. Sweet mercy. <laughs>